You gotta love, it. you gotta love it. I just wanna chill and twist the lot. Catch stunts in my 745. You drive me crazy, shorty. I need to see you and feel you next to me. I provide everything you need, and I like your smile. I don't wanna see you cry. Got some questions that I gotta ask now. If you come up with the answer, baby. It's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? And how would you still have love for me, girl? It's easy to love me now. Don't, don't mind the hair. It is crazy. It really is crazy. I'm gonna get a haircut um next weekend. But in the meantime, does anybody else just have electrical issues with their Subaru fucking windows, or am I the only one? Anyway, I'm going to Walmart to, that really messed up my lighting. I'm going to Walmart to get some burgers cause it's like 55 degrees outside right now, which is, it sound, that sounds cold as hell, but it's really nice because it's not windy. It's been windy for like a month or two and it's supposed to be spring cause it's April now. And uh, it's cold as shit outside. It's, it's just, we have not had any nice days here in Jersey at all. So. I'm going to Walmart to go get some burgers. I figured it'd be a great time to update you guys and what the hell is going on. So if you guys watch the quad side of my channel, um, I got a blaster for free. It was actually a blaster that I owned for like two hours that I bought with a title, with a PA title and a bunch of weird, cool stuff. I owned it for two hours. I sold it to one of my in-laws and they blew it up. So then I acquired it for free to fix it because they didn't want to spend the money on fixing it. So now I'm dumping massive, uh, tremendous, trend, tremendous amounts of money to fix that. My 450 is still down sad right now. So we'll get that YFZ up uh, next, probably next year at this point. If we do get it this year, um, it'd be cool. But I also don't want to half-ass that quad at all. I kind of want to like do like a maybe not a full restoration because that sounds expensive. But I want to do something nice to it. I want to make it nice again. Because Honda still have the Honda, didn't sell it yet, so I still got the four x four. So now I have three quads, and none of them run. So that's cool. The uh, the four x four needs a battery. That's about it. And I gotta put the uh, uh, better or uh, the new era filter in there. As far as that, I put the wheels on the car, so that's sick. I got new tires on the truck, so that's sick. I gotta do an oil change to the truck and brakes, and then we're going on a road trip. I'm not gonna say where I'm going yet, but I'm going on vacation soon. And uh, who knows, by the time I post this, I might be in vacation because I make videos and then I kinda don't post them. Like my hair was pink. I don't think you guys even got to see my hair pink yet, so. Yeah, I just keep making a bunch of videos and like not posting them, not even editing them or posting them or nothing. Date. So there's your update on what's going on. And if you're new here, um, my name's Devin. I make car videos and uh, quad videos, a lot of off-road videos. See you and feel you next to me. I provide everything you need, and I like your smile. I don't want to see you cry. Got some questions that I gotta ask, and I hope you can come up with the answers, baby. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? And how would you still have love for me, girl? It's easy to love. This thing is cool. Look at that. I'm sure he has a video on this on his YouTube, but this thing is cool. The Puerto Rican mobile, he cut the roof off and made this all custom made himself. The window looks legit. This was like the real Puerto Rican mobile before it had like a white roof. I think the top still comes off, I gotta ask him. Got the KC lights. Thing's pretty legit. Which one do you guys like more? The Samurai or this thing? The, the Samurai or the Samurai? The Geo Tracker or the Samurai? <laughs> I actually don't know what the fuck this thing is. Little Chevy logo on it. Is this like the Chevy version? I don't know. But everything has wheels on it. Everything. Oh, I forgot he has a mini truck somewhere. Gotta ask him what the hell that is.
everything has wheels on it. Look at the mini truck. You fucking blew it up, didn't you? I don't know, it just stopped. Did I you hear anything? Full gas and it just stopped. What happened? It was full, like I was on the gas and it stopped. Oh, you blew it up. <laughs> She's gonna be the one to tear the grass up. All right, guys, welcome back to Team Dirt Bash. It's another episode. Um, I think I put some clips in here of this, but if you guys didn't know, this is the official reveal of the blaster that I bought and sold in two hours. I think I had it for like two hours. And uh, it got blown up completely and now it's complete, well, almost completely rebuilt. So it has a Wiseco piston in it and uh, has a different bottom end out of another blaster. So that's not super aftermarket or anything, but you could uh, show, them the, show them everything because I don't think they've seen this one yet. So this one isn't like the last one that I had. There's no graphics on this one. I might add some. It has one blue A-arm, which this is a 2006 Yamaha Blaster. So I heard something about blue A-arms being from the factory and they were like super rare in 2006. So also I think the last year they made blasters in America. So um, if that's original, that'd be funny, but it looks like a replacement, I guess. Maybe someone bent the other one or something. Got some uh, bead locks. I don't know if these are real or not, but I guess we'll find out one day. But they look real to me. Treads looks good. All in all, it was a good blast. So you come around here, show them it has a, well, the headers over there, but right here you can see on the exhaust, it has a full Tumi pipe on it. Show them that. I need a helmet there. So, got my nephew filming. You can show yourself behind the camera. What up? Um, he's out here with the 140. We actually, uh, this isn't due to the channel, but the 140 is pretty cool. Um, we've rode them throughout the years. So this is probably the second or third one that I've seen, I guess. It's a pretty popular bike. But um, yeah, it's about to be the first rip of the blaster. I just rode it here, it feels great. We got some holes drilled in the air box for our uh, ghetto tune we got going on here. Uh, it's probably gonna need a new jet kit. I don't know who did the jet kit on it, but um, it runs great, it idles, starts first kick. See if it actually starts first kick now that I said that. Key's on this time. Oh, it's cause I said something. And we're in gear. It's not smoking anymore, so that's a little concerning. I probably put too much gas in it. <laughs> but I did mix it 32 to 1, so um, maybe we should add some more oil in it. I didn't bring any oil, but we should add more oil. Because <laughs> it was smoking before, and now it's not, which is a little concerning. But we should be good. I'm not riding it like all day. I'm just riding it just to feel it out. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I already got rocked in my fucking sock. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get some shots of me riding it, and I'll get some shots of VJ on the 140.
Why then? What the fuck did you do? Oh, uh, what the fuck? That is a good idol. Holy shit. Mike, you absolutely killed it on the fucking airbox tune until we got this thing rejetted. And I just met Michael Sabo. <laughs> His truck's over there. He left. I didn't want to um, bombard him with my camera. I'm sure he gets that enough. But that is absolutely insane. I always, uh, wow, I don't even know what to say. That was pretty cool. How you like it over here? Is it better? Yeah, how are you? Better in the last spot? Yeah, bro. I was fucking sliding everywhere. I bet you don't even know who Michael Sabo is. I fucking don't. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I just met my one of my favorite YouTubers. He makes like hour-long videos of him completely restoring like every bike you can imagine. Name a bike right now. I'll tell you if you did it. KX500. KX500. I don't know if he did a KX500, <laughs> but he did, he did a lot of bikes. So quad-wise... He's working on the LTZ right now. He fully restored it. LTZ 400. Um, Banshee. Blaster. <laughs> Blaster, he's done that. And dirt bike wise, I think he had like a YZ. That was uh, the purple and the green one. I don't know the name of it. I forgot the name of it. But. In the last video, we built the Grape Ape, a YZ125 with an Athena 144 big bore kit. Ported the cylinder, blue ported the engine, did some other modifications to it. Turned out freaking amazing, if you ask me. It has uh, lime green and purple. Really strange color scheme, but it came together really nicely. If you haven't seen the build video, definitely check that out. The thing is trending. It's got like over 120,000 views right now. It's, it's crazy. I appreciate you guys watching that video. Now, we're going to take that thing uh, ripping. We're just going to go... I follow a lot of his quad builds, so he's uh, he's the reason I got a uh, blaster again, and I found this one, and uh, I actually got this one with a PA title, but um, yeah, this thing is running amazing, it smells great, got the 927 in it, you know, the cat, the castor oil, whatever you want to call it, castor oil, um, um, yeah, this thing's running amazing, the only thing, I don't know if there's too much air in the tires, or the suspension is just the suspension's really stiff, so I am absolutely bouncing all over the place. So suspension definitely uh, needs to be tuned. It's very stiff, so it definitely needs to be uh, loosened again. Damn, I can't even talk right now. So uh, we're gonna hang out. I might head to the hill climbs. I have no back brake, so it's really sketchy on the hill climbs. Also, I didn't wear my goggles today because I'm wearing my glasses. Um, yeah, this is the spot. We might chill at the hill climbs. I don't know. The only thing is, like I said, I don't, I don't have back brakes. So it's really sketchy going downhill. But the good thing is, as long as I stay in power band, I'll be able to get up the hill. So. Yeah, jumping into there, right? I think we should get some shots of right here and, and coming out of there. Best, it's the most fun. So if you want, I'll film you going over there.
Fucking World War fucking fast, One right, was basically America trying to get Go back to high school. independence. <laughs> I want to poke you in the eyes, but they're so sunken in, I can't even get them. <laughs> he's about as ugly as he's pretty. That's a backhanded compliment, because it couldn't mean I'm pretty or ugly. Which one is it? You figured out gray hairs. Shut the fuck up. Your eyes are sunken in wearing a fucking 80-year-old grandpa. It's defense mechanism. <laughs>